guys today i'm going to be doing a video over my breastfeeding experience and i'm going to give you some helpful tips throughout this video so to begin something that i feel like it's a must especially to take um to the hospital um is a nursing pillow just whatever brand that you want i feel like if you're a first time mom you're gonna be breastfeeding take your nursing pillow with you um because it's just like so convenient it's really easy it's, like to position your baby and everything my mistake was not to take a pillow because i was like no it's too much to take and i'm gonna be carrying with it and i regret it so much because the pillows in the hospital are just like regular pillows and they're like super thin and you need more than just one pillow so i feel like this breastfeeding pillow would be a plus if you're a first-time mommy and my baby is three months and i still use it and i feel like i'm gonna be using it for i think a while just because it's so convenient um the next thing i would recommend y'all to buy is some nursing some nursing bras here i just have this like nursing bra that you they clip and i bought them at walmart it was like two for 16 17 dollars um i really recommend that y'all get some of those or also this nursing nursing tank tops are a little similar to the nursing bras and i have two this is what the inside looks like which is like super convenient for breastfeed also another thing this is not a nursing bra but this is a genie bra come out in the tv commercials i bought mine at target it was like two for twenty dollars or you can buy it at walmart or at your local drugstore this one's are really convenient because they're just like tight and um, they come with the pads but i took them off because i wear nursing pads so i didn't want to bulk it up too much but i have this one's in like different colors and the next thing um, that was provided provided by my hospital was the Amita Dual Shell. And this is are just breast shells. And with this one's there's two um two little shells. And one is for um to protect your nipple from like your clothes touching it, like if they're irritated. And another one is to um is for when you have like inserted nipples which that's what i had it gets your nipple used to like being outwards that's what it is so i would recommend that um you buy this one if you are having problems or if you're like you're gonna have problems just be prepared um you can buy this ones i'm pretty sure at amazon um but i like i said mine's were given to me by the hospital because i had inverted that's what it's called inverted nipples and but also when i was at the hospital um uh, my nipples did crack and they were bleeding and they hurt almost like if there was like a cut or a burn and what the hospital gave me was this adela tender care nipple balm which is like so good like seriously so good i would put this on and then i would put the little the shell to protect my nipple because it was like super like it was hurting so much and i just put this on twice and with those two times that i put it i was pain free after that i would i could breastfeed without any pain and in regards to pain it is painful for me it was painful but nothing compared to my contractions and that's how i motivated myself i always said to myself this is nothing compared to contractions. I can do this. If I can do this. If I went through painful contractions, I can go through this. And that was just my motivation. My motivation was also seeing my baby. I was I was like, this is a bed for my baby. I have to, you know, just pull through it. And I know that the pain is not gonna last. It's gonna go away. And I kept on motiv motivating myself. And I feel like um, that's what you should do. Motivate yourself. Don't stop because. <laughs> You know it's gonna be pain but the pain is not gonna last and just um don't give up because you know that breast milk is the best for your baby is the best out there for your baby um 
So I would say don't give up and keep yourself motivated. So the next thing I have in regards to breastfeeding is this nursing nursing cover. I bought this one at Target. It's from the Eddie Bauer brand. Um, the only downside on this one is that this one doesn't have the wiring here, which is a little bit difficult because it goes down. It doesn't stay up like this to where you can be looking inside and just make sure that your baby's fine. Um, so that's only the downside. Um, I do plan to buy another nursing cover. Um, I feel like the the Boppy brand would be the best um, and I just haven't found it at the store I've been looking for it but sorry my baby was like not having the swing so, and another thing that I would recommend y'all to get is some nursing pads here I just have the Nuke and this is the ultra thin ones I did use at the beginning the Tommy TP nursing pads which um I haven't found any at the store, um, but this one's like super absorbent. And the Nuke are good, but they're not as good as the Tommy TP. And right now I just have the Ultra Thin because um, I do leak, but not a lot, just because Eliana's eating way more now. Um, and I was using the other ones that were, I think were like super absorbent, but they don't work as well as the Tommy TP ones. Um, I do have my Amita manual pump that was given to me by my hospital, which I upgraded because I wasn't having it with this. This thing would take me up to 45 minutes to pump and it was just a waste of time because I could have been getting ready or getting my baby ready and it was just, I don't know, it was just too much. and. Um, I'm not throwing this away. I'm just gonna keep it because it does do the job, but not as well as the electric ones I'm just gonna keep it because this ones are like $40 and I was almost thinking about Throwing it away, but I'm not I'm just gonna save it um, But I had it to upgrade to the Lansing no um, Electric breast pump which is so good. It works so good. I can pump when my breasts are not too engorged i can pump about five ounces um i can pump about five ounces in like five minutes and when my breasts are engorged i usually do like seven eight ounces and it takes me a little bit longer like maybe less than 10 minutes but um this is what i don't have it hooked on right now but this is what it came with and this is a bottle that it came with and eliana loves this bottle she loves the nipple to this she loves it so um and my milk came in um when she was three or four days old and i had to start pumping the fifth day because my breasts were so engorged and it wasn't painful it was just uncomfortable i had to start pumping and um i know that a lot a lot of nurses recommend that you don't do that but i had to it never gave me any problems she was fine um I did introduce her to a pacifier as well, like um, six days of her being born and she's been fine. She's never had any nipple confusion. Um, she is picky about bottles, about bottles and picky about pacifier, but she's never been confused about nipple, like not wanting for me to breastfeed her. She's always preferred like me breastfeeding her than me giving her a bottle and stuff. So I really didn't have any problems with her in regards to that. Um, the position that I used a lot when she was a newborn was um, the football position and also the cradle position. The football position is when you have your nursing pillow and you just nurse her like this or the cradle position which is like this. My absolute favorite position that I love is um, when I lay down on my side and I breastfeed her. And I love it. Ever since she was born, that's been my favorite. I This is the position um, that I use when I nurse her at night. And she loves it. I feel like she's more relaxed. Um, she's more relaxed and she's like less distracted. My last tip is on milk supply. Um, my, I, at once I felt like my milk supply did lower. Um, but my doctor prescribed me some iron pills. 
and I took those and I could immediately see that my milk supply went up and also a thing that I've been doing every morning never since this was this was a tip given by my grandma and she said that I should take oatmeal and I I do I have oatmeal every morning and instead of having it with water I have it with milk I want the oatmeal to be more uh, on the liquidy side not too thick and I always, always take some in the morning. I feel like that's helped my milk supply go up. I really recommend you yeah. That's like a must for me. If you ever feel like your milk supply is low, um, don't get worried. As long as your baby is not fussy, as long as they're having the right bowel movements that they should, you shouldn't worry. It happens and the main reason it happens is because your breasts just um, adjust to what your baby is drinking. I really recommend that y'all take oatmeal. Please let me know if you would like to know uh, where I got any of these items. I will let you know. Comment down below. Also, let me know of any other videos that you would like for me to do. Check, check out my other videos. I have an Anna's two month update. I also have some other videos, some vlogs, some recipes. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below and like my video.